Hello everyone, Notion Dad here. Now today I want to show you how we can use the Notion API to post to social media directly. So you're going to make your post inside Notion and then it'll appear magically on social media. I'll show you how. Now we are going to use a few tools for this. The key thing is, is that we can use all of these on the free plan. So I didn't want to have to pay any more money. Uh, I already pay for Notion, but again, you can use the free plan of Notion. And the first tool we're going to use is something called automate.io. That is going to connect our Notion page or our Notion database with another tool that we want to use. So we're going to use automate.io. We're going to use something called Buffer and we're going to post our updates to Twitter. So let me walk you through all the steps. First of all, we're going to set up automate.io. To set up automate.io, you'll need to sign up for a free account. You won't have to enter any credit card information or anything like that. So that is brilliant. And once you've done that, you want to head over to the apps page up here. Now we want to add a new app and they have an official Notion app. So you want to click on that and then I'm just calling it Notion, nice and easy. Click authorize and it says automate.io wants to access Will. So Will is my um, Notion workspace. I've already hooked this up, but all you have to do is hit allow access and you'll have to log into Notion for all that to show up. So once you've done that, if you go into Notion itself and you go to the menu down here, you go to settings and members, integrations, you'll see automate.io has appeared there and that should be automatic. So that can then, if I go to my main page, this is my little Notion setup and I hit share, automate.io can edit this page and that means it can edit all the pages below that. So we don't need to worry about sharing specific pages. So once you have automate.io set up, we want to use Buffer. Now, buffer.com, sign up to there and just go through the process. It's fairly simple. You just need to add your social media accounts to there. I've got Will Halliwell one that's my Twitter account and my LinkedIn account there. So we're just going to focus on Twitter for now. So I won't go through all the steps for this. It should be fairly easy. Um, pause the video, sign up and press play when you're done. The next step is to set up your Notion page. So I've got this social media page and inside here we've got two inline tables. I've got one called unpublished Twitter posts and another called published Twitter posts. So these are exact copies of each other. We'll quickly run through what each one has and we'll go through all the properties of those. So the name, um, tell you what, let's make a new unpublished post. Let's go through it like that. So we're gonna click new. Um, this is gonna be the video post. So the schedule, this is when we want to actually post this. So I wanna post this today. It's currently 10 past five. I reckon click include time. Let's have this done by 17.30. So that is when we want our post to go to Twitter. We're gonna want it to post at half past five. The caption, this is what is gonna be posted on Twitter. I am making and recording a demo. This is live and we'll go straight to Twitter. Now I made this little formula for a character count because Twitter obviously have a limited amount of characters. So the formula is very, fairly simple. You just got the length of the property, which is caption. So caption is what you're gonna write on Twitter. And this is just looking at the length. So if you update this, put a few more exclamation marks in, that goes up automatically. Now these two properties are needed. So this is the created date and the last edited date. So you click created it's underneath advanced so you've got created time in there and then this one last edited that is also under advanced and it's last edited time so we need these for i think it's automate.io needs to look at these um, variables look at these values and then it knows what to update and what to publish to twitter so this is my unpublished twitter post at the moment it's just sitting in here now what i've done is made an exact copy of this one of this um, database and I've called it published Twitter posts. So we're gonna switch over now to automate.io. So once you've got all three apps in here, we need to create our automate bot. So we're gonna click bots at the top and this is the one that I've already made. Let's turn it, well, let's keep it on actually. 
So the way automate works is everything's done in columns. So when this column on the left happens here, then it will move on to this column on the right. Now on the free plan, you can only have those two columns. If you pay, then you can click this plus button and you can add some more things in between, like you can add filters, um, you can publish to multiple places and you can do a whole lot more, but we want this to be free. So I'm gonna walk you through how I made this bot and then we're gonna test it and make sure it all works. In automate.io, we are using the trigger, which is Notion, and you have these two um, items here. So you've got updated item or you've got new item. And I've tried both of them, but the one that I found works the best is updated item. So this triggers when an existing pages property is updated in a database. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to move this post from here, we're gonna move it down to here. Automate.io is gonna watch this table and it will then publish it for us. So the database that we're using is the published Twitter posts. That is this one right here. And it asks you to select the created time property and the last edited time property. So that's why we had to have those two added on here, created, last edited. So if you click these, it just comes up with one option, created and one option there last edited then these output fields these are just what um, automate will create for you and what we can use in a second so we're going to close that so this is the trigger notion updated item page you've got the database that you're going to use and then the created time and the last edited time now the action that we're going to take we are going to connect it to buffer so if you click on that we've got the three apps that we've already set up click buffer and then we want to post an update. So it says use this to skip the buffer queue and post the update instantly, which we could do, which could be quite nice, or at a specified time. So we've got post an update and we're gonna do it at a specified time. So the profile, which we've already set up on buffer, see I've got my Twitter and my LinkedIn there. So we are using Twitter. Now, the text that we want to do, if you click, let's close that, if you click plus in here, you have got all these output things, which are the output fields from this side. So the text that we want to add, we have added this in the caption. So if I go back to Notion, this is my caption property. This is what we are writing in here. So add the caption. We could add more stuff. We could add uh, a hashtag every time this is posted, um, but then we might run out of yeah, we might run out of um, characters to use, but why not? Let's just write hashtag notion API. Let's add that on there as well. So you can add stuff in every time or you can um, just have the page caption. So shortened links, I've got no. I just want to use whatever I've written in here. I want those to be the links. I don't want it to shorten anything for me. The photo URL, I'm leaving that for now. Um, we can add a photo in if we want, but for now, we're just doing simple Twitter updates. Right, when to post. Now this bit, again, you can click the plus button and you've got all your options here from Notion itself. So the one that we want is the scheduled and then it's, you've got start date and end date. The thing is we haven't added an end date, so we're just gonna use the start date. So if we go into here, end date, we haven't actually included an end date. It exists, but there's nothing there, it's completely empty. So we just have a start date. So this is when we want to publish. We have got 15 minutes before it's going to be published. And that is it. So this is what Buffer is going to do. You select Buffer, you want to post an update, post to your Twitter profile. Um, you want to post the caption from your, from your Notion page here. And then we just added a hashtag on the end because why not? And then when to post is going to be the scheduled and start date. And that should be it. So what this is going to do is I'm going to hit save. Now test using live data. We are going to move this down into our published Twitter posts. I'm going to put it on top there. So it's moved out of unpublished, moved over to published posts. I'm going to come back here and we're going to click I'm done. Now that's going to spin for a little bit and it's going to check and hopefully it should find an update and go Awesome. It will then add that to buffer. There we go. Congratulations, your bot is all good. So we're gonna go back to our bot list. 
We've got it turned on now. We're going to go over to buffer. Here we go. It's already in buffer. I am making and recording a demo. This is live and we'll go straight to Twitter. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So now it's come out of our unpublished Twitter posts and it's into our published Twitter posts. So there are other ways that you could do this. Like I said, you could add filters in automate.io. So you just have one database. Um, tell you what, I do have a social media database. So if I was paying for automate, I would go to my social media planner. I would go here and then I've got all these profiles. So I would add a filter on there and do it all in one database and just filter for like the Twitter profile or filter for um, any of these other ones. But like I said, we want to keep things free. So back to Notion, automated social media. It's in there. This scheduled for 5.30, it's 5.17. Let's just share it now. And that is shared. We go over to here. Let's go to my Twitter profile. Got some music pinned there. And here we go. I am making and recording a demo. This is live. And we'll go straight to Twitter. Hashtag Notion API. Exactly what we wrote in here. There we go. Um, hopefully I didn't rush through that too much. As a quick summary, we've got free Notion account, a free automate.io account, a free buffer account, and we're going to connect them all together using automate.io and this little bot here. There we go. If you want, you can pause on this page. Um, and this is basically all that you need once you've created your databases inside Notion. Hopefully that was all nice and clear. Let me know if you've got any questions and go and follow me on Instagram. I am at Notion Dad or follow me on Twitter where I use my real name um, at Will Halliwell with the number one after it. And yeah, let me know how you get on. I am looking forward to using the Notion API some more. It's super exciting. I think there's so many things you can do with it. And I look forward to seeing what you create.